the aftermath of the crash. Shattered glass, dented metal, and a dummy thrown on the ground. That passenger thrown out the window of the school bus, not wearing a seatbelt. Traveling 35 miles per hour, this semi slams into a school bus. Passengers are on board. Some are strapped into lap and shoulder belts, others are not. We just want to continue to help people understand that um, even though school buses are statistically some of the safest vehicles on the road, they are really some of the only vehicles minus motorcycles that are actually taking people on our highways and interstates without lap and shoulder belts. After the impact, one dummy is on the ground, two are in the aisles, and a few others are still strapped into their seats. This is the only crash test center of its kind in the country. Emmy, the Westfield company that owns it, manufactures seat belts. And company officials are hoping this test proves they can save lives. This parent agrees. Anything that would keep them safer is definitely going to be better. So, yeah, when I was in school, they didn't have them. And, you know, I just uh, think it would be better. But the idea is up for debate. The American School Bus Council argues the big yellow buses by design are already safe. The reason, high back seats provide compartmentalization, like into protecting children like eggs in an egg carton. Plus, there is no state or federal requirement mandating school districts to install seat belts on buses. Still, Emmy is hoping this image sticks in the minds of school district administrators in Indiana and beyond. Katie Hines, RTB6.